Meet Phil. Phil wasn't exactly thrilled with his life. Stuck at Loomis Fargo for over a decade, he loathed the way his bosses treated him, the mega pay, the whole nine yards. He was just sick of it. One day, something snapped. Screw this, I'm gonna get my money. But Loomis Fargo is a bank. It's not your average convenience store. Stealing from the bank wouldn't be a walk in the park. But Phil knew the routine. He had meticulously plotted this heist. He knew their routines, the routes, the employees, the comings and goings of Loomis Fargo like the back of his hand. This was a shot at payback, a chance to bank and leave those who wronged them. One day, the perfect day arrived. Seemingly the same old Phil drove the same armored truck, collecting the same millions in deposits, business as usual. But little did his colleagues suspect what was about to happen. Back at the warehouse, Phil unloaded the collected cash. Then, when his co-workers weren't looking, Phil whipped out his G and cut them. So Phil started stuffing bags with cash from the vault. Millions upon millions. Almost 38 millions in today's money. So, two hours later of loading cash in the van, the van was now overflowed with money. He removed the videotapes from the surveillance cameras, got his co-workers in the back of the van and drove off. He headed home. That's right, home. So he cuffed one of his co-workers inside his home and leaves with the other one still in the van. He drove through the night and left the remaining co-worker shackled in a tree. Next morning he heads off to a storage facility he rented years back. You gotta remember he had been planning this for a while. So while there, he starts unloading the cash, takes some with him and heads off to Mexico. The same morning, the co-worker he left out in the woods was able to escape and contacted the local police. They got to the other co-worker, still stuck inside Phil's house. Due to the amount of money Phil got, feds got involved and started investigating. In the meantime, Phil starts opening up bank accounts in Mexico and gets a house in the burbs. Phil is in drinking pina coladas mode. But he still has a problem. He still needs to collect the other cash still in the storage facility. So he starts making round back trips back and forth, from Mexico to the US to get the remaining cash. Five months later, in one of his trips, he gets into an altercation with a customs agent. She runs his profile, and what do you know? His picture is in the wanted list. And so they arrest him. Feds find his storage unit with the money and the security footage he took from the surveillance cameras back in the bank. So he goes to trial and gets 25 years. 